Hello, my dear participants. <coughs> I welcome you all for this session on the third day of online national workshop on DNA barcoding. In this session, we are going to <coughs> learn about the various steps to be followed to submit the quality sequences in Gene Bank NCBI National Center for Biotechnology Information. So once we obtained the quality sequences, they are used in homology search in BLAST to identify the species. Once the BLAST is over, the sequences should be deposited in GeneBank NCBI so that your sequences <coughs> will get the accession number from the NCBI, then you will be the authenticated one for your sequences. Okay, now we will go to the detail about the submission of sequences in Gene Bank. I hope you all would have learned about the various steps right from the collection of samples to the gene sequencing. All the steps you have studied in the last two days of this program. First section is isolation of, sorry, um, collection of samples, whether it is animal or plant. Then storage and preservation of samples. Then isolation of whole genomic DNA from the chosen tissue samples. Then quantification of the isolated DNA. Then amplifying PCR amplification of the gene of interest. Here the gene of interest is barcode gene. It is nothing but CO1 gene. Then the amplified product should be checked by running the agarose gel electrophoresis. Then the DNA bands are visualized in gel duct system. After that, the PCR products are used for the sequencing the CO1 gene in gene sequencer. Then finally, we will get the sequences of our own CO1 gene of our own tissue. Then this CO1 genes obtained from the sequencer, we have to check the quality of the sequences. Then how to check? Here there are some free softwares available in a Google search engine, you can download it with the help of the softwares. You can check your sequences, whether it is a good quality sequences or poorly, poor quality sequences. Okay. Now I tell you what are all the softwares that we have to keep ready. So the first one is the ABI Sequence Weaver. ABI Sequence Weaver it just installed this sequence scanner. Okay. Then Bio Edit. So this software is used to edit the sequences. Suppose if you got, if you get 
the sequences with some uh, mismatched base pairs or some poorly poor quality base pair that we can edit the poor quality base pairs using the bio edit software then mega 6 it is used for the aligning the sequences and to get the best quality sequences and also for the phylogenic construction of phylogenic tree okay so here if you open this so you can generate <coughs> the phylogenetic tree nj tree neighbor joining tree so these are the softwares that you have to keep ready right now i show one example of the best quality sequences how to check the quality of the sequences <coughs> here so this is the the format which we obtained from the gene sequencers so they will give the chromatogram of the sequences so so you have to check this one you just click this file it will open in the sequence scanner okay so here the our sequence is here then again you click here it will show the the sequence what actually ATGC sequences and this is the the peaks so from this you can see the quality of the sequences if it is a overlapped peaks so the sequences are not in good quality so you just uh, move this way so here you can see the clear peaks so at the beginning the sequences are poorly qual poor quality then you can see the good quality sequences by visualizing the the clear peaks without any overlaps okay similarly at the end you can see some overlapped sequences okay so so you can check the quality in other way here it click the sequence here this way. okay so this is the sequence the quality of the sequence you can see here so i already told you in the <coughs> uh, peaks first few peaks were poor in quality because of the overlapped peaks so you can see the poor quality sequences for the first 100 base pairs so red colored base pair shows the poor quality yellow is somewhat normal quality blue is the good quality okay you can see the the quality value 11 here so here here 52 okay here 55 so more than 50 is the good quality sequences qb quality value so you see yellow this 15 right so accordingly you can check the quality similarly you just see the 40 to 50 base pairs at the end of the sequence is also not in good quality so you don't bother about the first 100 and the last 50 to 60 base pairs because these poor quality sequences caused because of the some primer errors similarly at the end the, you just take the middle part okay so most of these base pairs are good in quality so if we can consider these sequences as a good quality sequences it can be submitted to the ncbi okay suppose if the, the red colored base pairs are more and the yellow colored base pairs are more it is not good quality sequences so that we have to reject the sequences and we have to again do the same procedure to get the good quality sequences <coughs> okay now we'll come to the the steps involved in the submission of sequences in gene bank so 
just you click the ncba in the google search engine the welcome uh, the home page of the ncba will open here there are so many features are there just you go through go to the submit because we are going to submit the sequences so click the submit one okay then here you can see uh, you, have, you have to select here the nucleotide so there are so many uh, parameters will be there we are going to submit the nucleotide so we have to choose the nucleotide here okay just uh, is, uh, click the down arrow then select the nucleotide automatically it will open the that page okay so now here see the nucleotide so we are going to submit the nucleotide so we have chosen the nucleotide here then you go to the submit to gene bank <coughs> so this page <coughs> that is submit data to gene bank here some uh, guidelines and some uh, definitions uh, are there so you can just go through all these things then here there are several options for submitting the data there are several options available you can submit through the bank it sequin <coughs> and other some submit submission portals then barcode submission tool so we are going to submit our sequences in barcodes through barcode submission tool so you click this barcode submission tool then it will this window will open some barcode submission tool here also some informations will be there you just go through the all the informations and guidelines then you will understand how to submit the tool uh, how to submit the sequences in this tool okay after reading all these things just uh, sign in to the submit barcode data you have to sign in. for which you have to create user id and password as usual we create an email and another uh, to enter into other portals we have to create the some user id and password similarly here you can create your own user id and password then if you enter or if you log in into the uh, barcode of life with your user and password this page will open so this is we have already submitted so this window shows the complete submission data you don't bother about this thing similarly we have uh, one incomplete submission so it also uh, showed here so you don't bother about all these things here new submission will be there so you have to click the new submission here the first window contact information will come out so here you go, you have to give the all the informations about the about you that is who is going to submit the sequences here i have given my name job for the first name second i mean last name department college then the institution name, address, uh, then a phone number, fax number, email ID, and the alternate email ID should also be given. Then just to click the continue. Then second step. So here you can see the uh, these are the steps we have to follow. Contact nucleotide, contact reference nucleotide, protein, primers, source modifiers, traces, review, and connect. So in the references, you have to give the sequence authors first author second author third author like that so if you add you just give the, your name then add you can give uh, co-author names or other names then you have to give the reference title title of your sequences say for example dna barcoding of uh, acidian is my group of animal and you have to give the status whether your, your sequences have already been published in any Articles or any any form that you have to mention it is a public if it is published click the published one If it is in press it to be published you just click this in press or it is unpublished You click the unpublished most probably our sequences are in unpublished status. Okay, so you click here Then reference authors same sequence authors. So the first author will be the same reference sequence author So you just click the same sequence same as sequence author then click continue so the name will display similarly if you, if you add few more 
authors it will come out so here the title is given then click continue then third step if you type here we may when may we release your sequence record when to release your sequence so immediately after processing or release date so usually when we after submitting the sequences to the ncba uh, ncba will take minimum of 15 working days for processing and analyzing your submission okay uh, and they will check the quality of the sequences the originality of the sequences the chromatogram all the informations what we have given so they will check with their own software if there is no errors if there is no problems in submitting our sequences so after 15 days they will mail you that your sequences are ready to submit so within another two or three working days your sequence will be published to the public portal in the ncba or bold okay they will ask you for your approval if you reply to the mail immediately within three or four days your sequences will be published in the ncba or if you want to release if you want to publish your sequences in some other dates in such cases you have to select this release date suppose if you are doing phd <coughs> research your bubbly your sequences should not be published before award of your degree okay so there may be a chance for the uh, mishandling of your uh, sequences before your PhD thesis awarded. So in such cases, you can give the release date, right? Then you have to upload the FASTA file of your sequences. FASTA file. FASTA file is nothing but here you have to. This is the FASTA file format of the sequences. So here the symbol greater than symbol must be given so it will shows it will show the pasta format so the sequence number one the organism so this is a template which is available in the ncba so okay here the organism that you have to give the the uh, suspected organism name for example i i <coughs> uh, i have given the diplosomal listerinium as a species name so it is the voucher code number this is the gene which we sequenced so all the information will be there then you have to paste the your sequences here paste pairs so this is the the FASTA file it should be saved in notepad okay here dna barcoding of diplosomal sterinium in notepad just to save it okay then So you choose the file. If you click the choose file, it will ask the source of your file. Then you go to the source of your uh, uh, notepad file. Then you just uh, click it. So and uh, upload. Okay. So your pasta file in the word uh, word pad will be uploaded here. Okay. So the pasta file uploaded. See, upload the pasta file. Then click continue right so next step so your pasta file is uploaded now the nucleotide sequences should be translated into the protein sequences that is uh, base space will be translated to the amino acids okay right so here use our conceptual translation of your nucleotide sequence they ask so uh, whether you are uh, going to use our conceptual translation of your nucleotide series. so you just again click here choose the pasta file and it will ask the source of pasta file you click the source of the pasta file then upload then continue right then another step next step is the primary information so which primer we have used it's a sequences everything should be kept ready <coughs> here you have to give the the primer sequence the 20 to 30 15 to 20 base pairs will be there you just uh, 
copy the primer sequence and paste here. Then the forward primer name copy paste here. Then reverse primer sequence copy and paste here. Then reverse primer's name. Okay. And then continue. So it will show the what informations we have given. So this is the sequence of the forward primer which we have used. And this is the name of the primer. Similarly, sequence of the reverse primer, name of the reverse primer. Okay. Then click continue. Okay. So you can check all the informations here uh, for any corrections. If no corrections, you just click continue. Then another step is the source modifier. We have to give some information about our the animal and uh, our uh, sequence. So here, if you click the down arrow, it will ask some ops features. So altitude, where you collected the altitude of your collection spot, authority, who is authority for the uh, sequence, then biomaterials, which type of biomaterials, collected by collection date, country, identified by uh, latitude, longitude, specimen voucher. So there are so many options are there. At least you have to give the minimum five. Particularly, latitude long, longitude should be given in the case of barcode submission. So you just add first altitude, then give the altitude name, then add, click, and add, and go by, go to collected by, by give your name, then country, collection date, all the information, so you can add one by one. Then click continue. Then it will show. So what are all the informations we have given? I have given collected by my, myself, collection data I have given, country, identified by latitude longitude specimen voucher. Okay, you can check if you want to any, if you want to make any corrections, you can again, you just click there and you change it. If it is no correction, then click continue. Okay, so you can see all the informations we have given, it will show. Then continue, then the traces here, the important step in submitting the sequence in barcode is the creating the trace files. So here the trace information table file is the template is given. If you click the template, the template will open. So according to the template, you have to give the information. Okay. So here. So these are the four different files that we have to create. So here the trace folder. In this trace folder, you have to keep the sequence which we obtained from the, the gene sequencer. Okay, the, in the A B form. So if you click, you can see the the chromatogram and the sequence. So uh, in the previous slides I shown now. Uh, so this file should be keep ready. One in a folder, a separate folder named trace should be created inside the tracer folder you have to keep the ab format of your sequence then you have to create the trace information in wordpad so this is the template that which we can see from the ncba template so you have to download this template and you fill the informations template id sequence one trace file name format a project name uh, sequence array then reverse f r means reverse if your sequence is forward sequence you just put the f so my i have chosen the reverse sequences so it i have given the letter r okay so this is the the trace information Then this is the barcode sequence that already I have explained you. And the same trace folder should be in the zip format also. It is also essential. The trace folder should be in the zip format. So in the same matter will be here. Okay. So all these files should be keep ready. Right. Now they choose the file. So the you click the choose file. It will ask the source of your file, the trace file. So you just go to the trace file folder and choose the trace file folder and click continue. Then it will ask you to upload. 
okay so once you uploaded your trace files your submission is almost about to finishing state so after it will take two or three minutes so within two or three minutes it will show the complete detail of the the sequences which we submitted with the annotations you have to review the sequences so here you can see so this is the flat file of our sequence submitted to the ncba so the here you go through the all the information available here which we already given so you can check finally before submission you can check and review the submission so what are all the informations what we have given whether it is right or if any mistakes is there then you go back then you correct the mistakes then come to the review stage so here the uh, species name voucher id gene uh, gene name then the source uh, source of the organisms mitochondria then uh, name of the species its is uh, systematic position this will automatically generate once you give the species name the systematic position of the viewer species name will automatically be generated in the, by the ncba then bases how many base pairs are there that number also it will show then author title references all the informations then source feature of feature source organism name organelle in which organelle the gene was there then type of gene and voucher id taxon id this is the id for this species similarly if you give your own species for example tilapia mozambica fish so here there will be a, the taxon id it will be taken from the the world database then country latitude longitude data collection collected by identified by forward primer reverse primer all the informations will be there then our nucleotide sequences are translated into the amino acid sequences i told you na in the third step so here this is the amino these are the amino acid sequences of the nucleotide okay <coughs> so if there is no correction you just click the submit so your submission is over so within 15 days they will process your submission sequences submitted sequences and if any queries or that they will mail you then you have to rectify the queries and you have to answer the questions raised by the ncb admin then if everything is over then automatically your sequence will be published after processing if you select the after processing option or it will be published in the the specified date okay so before that you will see if if your sequences are clear you will be assigned to the access and number for your sequences so we you can use the access and number for publications okay no issues but we should not be published publicly before the sub before award of your phd or such okay this must be keep kept in your mind before using the uh, <coughs> public data okay thank you one and all thank you